Hi guys and welcome to my channel, Blissfully Single Bean. I am your homegirl Bean and I'm your Blissfully Single One. Guys, this is not a happy, go lucky or jolly or shade filled video. This is a for real, for real, things are really real out here type of video. So they finally reveal the cause of death for Jazz Fly. It was suicide. It was a hanging. Oh, my God. Guys, mental health and the awareness of where you are with your mental health is absolutely necessary. Absolutely. See, now I didn't really, I didn't even know who Jazz Fly was. And I think, I believe her full name was Jasmine Waters. But shout out to Ashley Miller. Ashley was the first person that I saw who tweeted about her passing. And when I looked her up, I see she's a 39 year old woman. She's a writer for many shows, including This Is Us. And now I've never seen This Is Us, but I know a lot of my cousins watch the show and they like it. And it just seemed like she was on top of her game and she was really out here living her best most fulfilled life but it's crazy how you could look at someone and not know the personal struggles the personal demons and i can't say for certain who knows why she took her own life but the fact of the matter is this mental health game it's not a joke we're on top of our physicals, our mammograms, our GYN appointments to make sure that physically everything is okay and there's no sign of disease. But guess what? If, God forbid, I was diagnosed with cancer, I would have to take the necessary steps to ensure that my life would be extended or that the cancer would go into remission. It's the same thing with mental health. If there's a problem, if something doesn't feel right, don't ignore it. Seek help. Now again, this is not a judgment on Jazz Fly. Rest in peace. This is not because I don't know. I don't know what her issues are. I don't know what drove her to take her own life. But what I will say is that mental health and maintaining a healthy one. It can drive a person to that. And I can say that in all certainty because I had that in my personal experience. In high school, I developed very, well, I've had very low self-esteem, I would say from my grade school years. But later on in high school, that eventually morphed into a severe depression. I stopped going to school. There was a point I was like, fuck it, I'm, not, I'm just not even going to school. Waking up every single day sorry was like a black hole and when you carry around that kind of sadness it's suffocating it's suffocating and it's something that should be addressed thankfully by the time I went to college when you know better you do better you seek help for it you get therapy you do what you have to do to get yourself to a space where you're mentally balance and that mental health state that mental health it exists on a good balance because people don't understand that mental health is not oh she crazy she crazy it's not a good mental health it's it's so easy to break it and people don't understand that every single day that we wake up and we understand that mentally we're good we're balanced that is a gift from god on the flip side if you need help you seek help because when you don't it can be fatal all of these suicides stemmed within mental health it can be fatal it could be fatal to you you could take your own life or you can take the lives of others based on where you are in your mental health for that day mental health is something that's very delicate very delicate but i thank god because through my depression in high school i can't stand here and say you know you know i made it through i'm strong no if it was not for the grace of god 
if it was not by his grace then I could have been one of those people who said, you know what, I really don't find the point in living anymore. Everything is black. Everything is bleak. I can't find joy anywhere. And I'm thankful that I got to a point where I found help. And I implore all of you, even for you people who think, oh, I'm good, I ain't got no mental health issue, I ain't crazy, I ain't crazy. It varies. It goes up and down. If you're feeling sad or you're feeling depressed or you're feeling something is not right, explore that. What is that feeling? Do I need help? Do I need to talk to somebody? Because it really can be the difference between life and death. This, this woman, I'm sending my e-love to her family. This is truly the loss of someone special and it's just so sad it's just so sad. Yeah, it hit me a special place. So I'm like, all right, let me do a quick video before I, you know, get this dinner on the table for the boys. Just, you know, talking about my experience and how I feel about mental health and the whole paradigm of keeping of holistic health. It's not all it's not you could be physically healthy, that's great. But the mental health plays a very big role. Spiritual health plays a very big role. It's all a circle that works together. Holistic. Whole. You. One. All right, guys. I can't even plug anything. This was very sad. I'm not plugging a thing. <laughs> um, if you want to know more about me, just look into the description box. Everything that I have going on, you could read down there. And um, shout out to all my new followers. Thank you so much for the, all the love that you guys gave me on my last video. I really, really do appreciate it. Until next video, guys, please take care of yourselves. Mind, body, spirit, soul, everything. Let's make sure we're balanced so that we can run this rat race called life as long as we possibly can. Peace out, guys. Bye.